Hello Cancerians and welcome you to, to your December 2021 general reading. If you're new to this channel, my name is Thomas Janak. I work with Native American guides um, and um, I need you to help me grow the channel. And the easiest way to do this is to actually like the video and then subscribe to the channel. And um, that's all I need you to do. And obviously share it as often as you can. <clears throat> it may not look the way I wanted it to, but the lights in the background, even though when I look at it here in the camera, it looks like they, they, they look orange. I actually set them to violet, which is Cancer's color, if that makes sense, and ruby, which is the birthstone for you Cancerians. And because Cancerians are governed by the moon, I normally, and I only, and I have them all here, work with animal guides and therefore I have animal guide decks. I added my Moonology deck um, because this is your governing, governing planet. So who knows if the energy of the moon um, makes sense to bring that in to uh, the reading, if that makes sense. So how this works, we will be somehow, well, not somehow, <laughs> we will loosely separate the video in three parts, right? Doesn't mean it's going to be super long, but it is easier to understand it that way. <clears throat> the first thing we're going to do is we're going to we will be looking at the overall energy for the month of November. Just see uh, December, sorry. Just see what the guides have to say. Um, that, what to look? What Kansas ought to be looking at in December? So that's the first part, and then we go into your emotionals, emotional core, your emotions, and that could be trauma that's, that's, that still sits there that needs to go, if that makes sense. Uh, or they're talking to you about love. I haven't got a notion what they're going to say because I only work here and they haven't spoken yet. <laughs> so that's the, uh, the second part of <clears throat> the three-parter um, that makes up that, that reading. And the last third or the last area <clears throat> excuse me, of the video will be opportunities, see what comes to you. And uh, that's oftentimes um, things where the guys look at stuff that sustains you financially and how to um, achieve all this or maybe um, change positions, all that kind of stuff, okay? So, are you ready? Let's look at the overall energy for the month of December. For Cancerians, this is a general reading. It might not necessarily um, resonate with all of you, but I do hope that those of you who are watching this <laughs> and that it will actually make sense to you. How this works is I always put down three cards because three is the number of progression. Um, but the reason why I always put down three cards in that way is because the one in the middle is then surrounded by two others, so the energy gets amplified and it is therefore the most important energy to look at and then you have an incoming energy which is the first card and an outgoing energy which is your last card so we will therefore take a little more time uh, spend a little more time on the on the on the second card but here's what the guides are saying to cancerians for the month of december <clears throat> as the incoming energy and it's simple or maybe not because the message is it's time to take action. It's really time that if you want to bring about changes, you have to bring them about, right? That's really, really important because the, the being, being inactive is probably the wrong word. It just feels to me that, that you might not be able to actually see where you're going and it sort of freaks you out. It, the way they, they, they're giving it to me is like, being halted, being a bit stale, if that makes sense. Um, ultimately, what the guides are saying to you is, this is about your intuition, this is about your trust, right? Um, why you really, at this point in time, might not really see where you're going. Um, the moment you say, like, well, I'm going somewhere, and I have a look at what it is I really want from life, and then begin to manifest that. That's what taking action means. 
but it has to be done, sounds a bit weird, in a controlled fashion because your middle card, the one that is the most important in this section of the reading, is literally take time to breathe out. And what that means is, because there's an energy here of frustration with Cancerians, that energy doesn't serve you at all with regards to um, changing stuff. When the guides are saying it's time to take action, that's just you coming back to, to looking at things like, you know what, I can't just sit here hoping that someone else makes my life perfect. Um, so regardless of your circumstances, taking action means to actually assess how much time do I actually have, right? And um, what can I do um, in that space of time um, to help me with my future? That's sort of the energy that I'm getting. But because your middle card is take time to breathe out, which is quite important, because that basically means that you have to literally ground yourself. And then you breathe out and let stuff go. But unless you're grounded, nothing can manifest for you, right? Because when your energy is all over the place, that's what you attract. You attract people that are all over the place. You attract people that are needy. <laughs> um, and it's not worth, not worth it. So what they're saying to you is while you feel a bit frustrated, which is nothing why they're asking you to breathe out, is literally you say like, okay, it's all good. I got this. I can do this. It almost feels to me like for Cancerians, as if you are coming back from a deep slumber, if that makes sense. So you probably will assess your life and think like, how the heck did I end up in this situation? If that makes sense, right? So, and then the outgoing energy is nonetheless important because the outgoing energy is what needs to be done to get all that sorted. And the outgoing energy is simple adjustments are needed. So you can't just wish for it, you can't just talk about it, and you can't just make little steps, right? You have to assess where you are in life, you have to assess um, what you like and what you don't like, and you have to begin to look into what can help you changing it, and then make changes, adjustments as it were, um, that get you there in the end. So this is a month for Cancerians, December 2021, where they're asking you, regardless of the Christmas spirit, um, have a good look at, not, not just about how 2021 worked for you, but um, if you wake up every morning, are you actually waking up happy or are you waking up frustrated, right? And then you identify the parts in your energy <clears throat> and in your life that make you feel that way. And that's how you manifest the change, right? So that's that. That was the overall energy for the month of December. This is the reading for Cancerians. You are watching Energy and Star Sun readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe, and share. And now we're going into the next area, which is the area of emotions. Let's have a look what we got. Let's have a look at your emotions, Cancerians. And you have the Caribou, the Coyote, good one, and the Heron. Are you ready? Emotions are not necessarily just about your love life. It's not just about the relationship you're in or the relationship you would like to manifest. This goes deeper. This also has to do with the life you lived um, and, and Again, it's about shifting old, I wouldn't call it trauma, but maybe old pain, right? Beginning to shift stuff. Here's what the guys have got for you for the months of December with regards to your emotions. You have the caribou, the coyote, caribou, the coyote in the middle, and the heron. The caribou is nothing else than a reindeer. Right? Um, I can't sing because, you know, YouTube says to me, like, oh, there is copyrighted material. Yeah, right. So, no more singing from me. The Karibu literally tells you that what needs to happen in your energy is the, the willingness for a rebirth. And that could mean 
that the relationship you're in has become stale and it's time to say to your partner, you know what, let's, let's maybe, you know, rekindle some stuff here. Let's see if we can have, um, you know, a date night, for instance, right? Or, or, or maybe just um, a hearty meal, just the two of us, right? Things like this. That's what the guides give me. And the caribou is also uh, interesting because they make these long migrations. And therefore, you as, a, as an energy cancerians, while you are very much in your face at times, as, a, as an energy, obviously, you obviously are the crap, <laughs> uh, or, or presented, represented by the crab, um, because the caribou makes these long migrations, um, they are also telling you about the cycle of life. And if you sit on things for a long time without making changes, no wonder you're frustrated. So what they're saying to you is, right, see how you feel, no point getting angry, no point, no point bringing frustration into any conversations because that's not how it works. Same applies for, for you, Cancerian, if you are not in a relationship, but you would like one. <laughs> if you say like, oh, the last, two, the last two relationships were absolute shit, that's low energy, guys. And bringing low energy to the, to the manifestation process is starting off on the wrong foot. Does not work that way, right? Ultimately, what the guides are saying to you is you have the coyote in the middle, the one that is the most important, therefore. And the coyote is a scavenger. So he says, wherever I go, wherever I will be, I'll find enough to sustain me. So this is literally saying to you with regards to your feelings of whether or not you're in the right place, if that makes sense, or whether or not you need to tweak and manifest, or you need to tweak the existing relationships, the coyote is saying to you is to you, no matter what you do, you don't have to resign yourself um, to a life without um, intimacy, without this closeness that you get from a relationship. Because ultimately, when it comes to emotions, sometimes the guys just talk about old um, trauma and where it sits and what needs to be done. They're not talking about this. This is all about sounds a bit personal, intimate relationships all about love right and all the guides are saying is no matter where you go from here you will always be sustained the outgoing energy is the heron now that changes things slightly because the heron is a bird that stands in the water all day on one leg bless him and when the fish comes he goes thank you so things cannot be rushed things cannot be forced and things cannot be programmed the way you want them to play out. Your task is to assess where you are, mention to the people or the person you're with and to your guides as you manifest how um, you would like, like things to be. But the heron is saying to you, right, let the fish come to you. It's obviously symbolism. <laughs> so um, it would be it's not pointless because that's what I'm getting. But what I'm getting is if you go looking for love, right, you're trying to rush things. And when you rush things, you might not get what it is you really wanted to manifest because you're not putting in the time, right? So all the guides are saying is don't be impatient. Just begin to realize what isn't working and make changes in that area, right? <clears throat> that's all we got for the um, area of emotions and now we're going to the final version um, final area rather of that video which is all about opportunities as they come your way and I'm again drawn to the monology um, deck that I used in the in the first part of the video let me just get a sip of my tea <laughs> Cancerians, let's have a look what you got. This is about you, you manifesting um, opportunities, if that makes sense. <clears throat> and you have 
three, see, I can't pronounce the H, so three is not an easy way, <laughs> easy word for me to pronounce. But you have literally um, three statements here um, that all fit into your now. With regards to opportunities, the first thing the guides are saying to you is, I'll show this to you here now. This is from a deck called Moonology. And the, the message is, have faith in your dreams. Um, and ultimately, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have a, a, a dream journal right now and that the guides only talk to you in dreams. But if you dream, dream big. Right? So have, have some faith. Trust that things can actually happen. So, for instance, if you are a person that goes like, okay, well, I've been working in that area here for 20 years. It doesn't fulfill me any longer. Right? Maybe... It would help if you actually studied something on top, so you get a bit of a toolbox, <coughs> or allow yourself to go for something you haven't done before ever, um, but go for it with all your heart, and then let your energy carry you there, <coughs> and you never know what's going to happen then. Because the one in the middle, the one that is ultimately the most important, <coughs> is literally the phrase, don't let your past hold you back. So if you are a person that has had, harsh word, bad experiences, they don't have to define you at all, right? So just because you maybe tried to change job and people shut you down or, the, or, or you literally weren't ready, that was then, this is now, right? So don't think about past failures because, again, it lowers the energy. Everything is energy, everything is vibration. And we are beings of vibration. Um, when you begin to become burdened and um, frustrated, your energy takes a dip. And then whatever you manifest, you attract it on that energy of that dip. Makes no sense. So don't let your past hold you back is the most important phrase here with regards to your opportunities. And this is important now because the outgoing energy is basically what it what will likely happen because your future is not written it's just your immediate future that can be looked at and the immediate the immediate future once you start making changes in the way you manifest and the way you see yourself in things is a win-win outcome is forecast let me repeat this again a win-win outcome is forecast ultimately life to a large extent is what you make it and that's what the guides are saying to you Right? You acknowledge that you have come to um, maybe crossroads, if that makes sense, and you reassess and you re-manifest, that's the way to go forward. That's all the guys are saying. Is But when you start doing that, rather than just being negative about it and bitchy even, <laughs> cancerious, um, a win-win outcome is forecast. Right? I think that was awesome. That's uh, all good news for you guys. Cancerians, thank you so much for watching. This was your December 2021 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You're watching Energy and Star Sign readings. Um, please like the video, please subscribe and please share the video widely. And because it's a monthly video, um, you could probably share it on your Facebook page, for instance, numerous times in the month so we can reach more people. And if you like my work, then you can support me now by buying me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. Okie dokie. Bye bye.